Hey, Lucy, how are you? Orthopedic surgeon Nirav Shah specializes in shoulders and knees. He replaced Lucy Boyajan's shoulder three months ago. One titanium joint later, she's doing well. But what if Dr. Shah could have ordered up a 3D printed shoulder, customized to spec just for her? What Ramel and Adam have done is they've created something very, very unique, uh, very, very innovative, and a game changer in many aspects. In essence, they've created a synthetic bone, if you would. Ramel Shah is a material scientist at Northwestern University. And yes, she and Nirav are married. Along with engineer Adam Jakus, she's developed a new 3D printed synthetic material called hyperelastic bone. With support from the National Science Foundation, all three are part of a team working to bring it to an operating room near you. What 3D printing allows us to do also is to make patient-specific or, or patient-matched implants, where if a patient comes in with a defect, say a craniofacial defect, we're able to take a scan of that defect and print it into the right size and shape that fits that patient perfectly. Orthopedic surgery can be tricky. Doctors often take a bone graft from a patient's own body or even a cadaver and try to refashion it into the shape they need. Replacement parts made of metal sometimes don't fit just right and existing bone substitutes have their limits. Traditional orthopedic products that are made out of these ceramic-like materials are very brittle. And compared to those, our product has very elastic properties, meaning if you squish it, it bounces back to its original shape. The new synthetic bone is made of an elastic ceramic and starts as a liquid ink. They print out the shapes they need. The process is fast and everything happens at room temperature. It deposits on a surface, and wherever we put the material, it goes where we want it to go. They also print sheets. So with the flat sheets, we're able to create off-the-shelf products where the surgeon can take these sheets and cut it down to size. They can be rolled as well. It can be sutured, it can be folded. Once implanted, the hyperelastic bone promotes tissue growth, and it becomes part of the patient's own bone as it regenerates. So once implanted inside the body, the hyperelastic bone eventually becomes new bone. It becomes part of you. From the beginning, the team knew they were on to something. Doctors, biomedical companies, even regular people were calling them up. They keep asking, when is this going to be ready? We need this. It's somewhat a little bit heartbreaking to hear that, but it's validating to know that we've been doing something that it has a purpose and it's going to be used, and we're doing everything we can to get it out there. It's pretty a little tight there, and that will get better. That's where I think mm -hmm. the therapist can help. Dr. Shah says surgeons are ready to embrace this new synthetic bone. It's less expensive than what's been available up until now, and it handles better in the operating room. Yes, it's great to be able to be more efficient at the time of surgery. It's great to say, oh, wow, that, that looks really good. This, this came out great. What I can't wait for, really excited about, is the prospect of significant improvement in patient outcomes. All right, straight up in front of you. And it's good news for people yeah. with orthopedic issues, like Not Lucy. Bad. I mean, it just makes sense that if you can customize body parts to, to be exactly, you know, fit for the patient, I think that's a great idea. Engineering new materials to make 3D printed bone. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.